Hello everybody. I'm uh, making this video now because um, there are these incredible things which are happening. And um, we're seeing that uh, we're seeing that these um, We're seeing uh, incredible events which are happening in the world with um, now uh, Obama and uh, the Israeli government are, are bombing Hamas, you know, in, in Israel. And uh, this, this is a very important event because this is the end of uh, times because in the Bible it says that at the end of times the Antichrist will ascend the throne of Israel which means that uh, it doesn't mean that somebody's going to, to, to build a throne it has to be understood what that means the meaning of that to ascend the throne of Israel means that the uh, Antichrist will be the head of Israel. He's, he'll be at the control Israel. And um, uh, the thing is that the uh, Arabs have been uh, contesting Jerusalem to the Jews since uh, 70 years now, since the beginning of Israel. But slowly Israel has um, resisted uh, there have been several wars. There was the war in 1947. Then there was another war in 67. Then there was another war in 74. And slowly Israel has worked up a very good, efficient military. They have very good soldiers, and they've managed to to uh, they've managed to to resist and stand off. And um, now. The only ones who will not make peace with uh, with Israel are the Palestinians, the guys in Gaza, the Hamas, because uh, everybody else has has uh, given up. The Hezbollah in Le Lebanon, they've made their peace with the, with the Israelis. Uh, Jor Jordan's king, um, Assad in Syria, he's he's been just, he's been cut down so much that he, he's he's no longer a danger for Israel. And uh, Abbas, the uh, Fatah, the head of Fatah in the West Bank, uh, he has um, he has made peace with uh, with Israel. He said, "Okay, I'll, I'll recognize Israel's right to to exist." The, he, he recognizes the state of Israel. There's only the Hamas who d doesn't recognize Israel, and um, and so there's big news. Obama and uh, the Israeli Prime Minister are bombing Hamas. They're bombing Hamas. They've been bombing them for, for six, seven days now. So um, given the power of the Israeli uh, military, they're just completely destroying Hamas. Hamas. So that means that uh, there's nobody left to, to stand up to Israel. And uh, who's doing, who is destroying Hamas now? It's uh, Obama because uh, he he's the funder. He's the person who who supports Israel. Uh, America is the main supporter of Israel, so America is now in control of Israel because there are no more Arabs threatening them. And of course, Obama is the only one who could do it because he he's he's a Muslim himself. He's part Muslim, part Jew, part uh, Christian. So he's the perfect person. So the the Muslims. Uh, accept him, and uh, the Jews accept him, and the Christians accept him, because he's he, he's uh, he, he's nobody. I mean, he's everybody, and he's nobody. So that's the big news. The Antichrist is now on the throne of Israel. So I am announcing the apocalypse to you people, because the apocalypse happens. Now I'm going to explain what is the apocalypse, because the apocalypse means revealing the revelation. So that so what are we going to reveal? That's the question. Who is this Antichrist? 
And uh, the moment has come because the Bible says the apocalypse will happen when the Antichrist ascends to the throne of Israel, the, the, the throne of the second temple, the second temple of uh, Solomon. Solomon's second temple has a throne. When the Antichrist goes onto that throne, then that's it. It's the apocalypse because uh, I Israel is, uh, is the recreation of the uh, throne of uh, Solomon. Solomon. Solomon's throne is, is, is what Israel is. It's the recreation of the state of Israel, the first, first state of Israel. So now, now he's on the throne. Now they've been bombing for seven days. And uh, they can go. They, they can. They can keep on bombing for for one week. Uh, the UN has said to them that they've got one week. They can keep on bombing for one week. Then it'll, then they have to stop because then the pressure will be too strong. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> they've completely destroyed Hamas. So uh, so uh, there's nobody left. There's no Arabs, no Muslims, nobody to stand up to Israel and to to Obama. To a bomb, and no, nobody can stand up to a bomber now. He's he's the ruler of the world now. So now we reveal him. I am a Buddhist. I've studied Tibetan Tantric Buddhism for forty three years. I've been I've been a Buddhist religious for forty three years, and. Um, I've been a Buddhist religious for for 40, 43 years, and uh, I studied Tibetan uh, Tibetan culture and language at Paris University for five years, and then I did uh, twenty eight years of research on a deity of uh, Tibetan Buddhism called uh, Kala Chakra, which is the de deity which predicts and describes the apocalypse, the apocalypse, and it also describes the demon king, which will come and who will be defeated in the apocalypse. And that demon king is said to have uh, four religions, Jewish, Christian, Muslim, and Manichaeism. Manichaeism is a religion which has disappeared, which included uh, some uh, Hindu and Buddhist deities in it. So it's like a com combination, a combo mix. And uh, uh, Obama has all those Four religions. He is Jewish. He, he's he's a he's a maverick. He's a, he's a weirdo. Uh, Christian, Jewish, Muslim, and also he has uh, amulets of um, uh, Hindu. He he he's like voodoo. Obama's religion is like voodoo, where he mixes everything all together. There's some Hin There's even a little bit of Hindu and maybe some Buddhist in it. I don't know. It's uh, it's kind of like an unholy mix. So. Uh, in my uh, Tibetan Buddhist uh, Kala Chakra Apocalypse prophecy, it, pro it prophecies that the Demon King will be just like Obama. But uh, because it says that he'll be Christian, um, it's normal that the Christian Apocalypse will unfold too. My Buddhist Apocalypse is unfolding. Uh, Obama's ide identified as being the, the, the Antichrist, the demon figure. But it's also normal that at the same time as my Buddhist apocalypse is unfolding, the Christian apocalypse is also unfolding. That's perfectly normal. There's, there's not one apocalypse Buddhist, for example, which will unfold, and then separately there's going to be a Christian apocalypse, and then another Jewish apocalypse, which are all going to happen like uh, separate atom bombs exploding. That's not how it works. An atom bomb, if it explodes, it'll irradiate the whole world. It's uh, the radiation goes everywhere. There's only one explosion for the apocalypse. There aren't going to be several several apocalypses. There's not going to be one one separate Satan Satan who is going to appear and is going to fight against us. So I have created a uh, army of Shambhala, which is predicted in my Buddhist apocalypse, and. Um, but at the same time, I am the reluctant messenger for the Christian apocalypse because when I first discovered uh, why and how Obama is the Antichrist, I was so surprised. My, my, the hair stood on my head, stood up on my head because I 
uh, saw that Obama was elected in uh, 2008, and um, I had found out that he was a Muslim uh, six months before that. When he first rose in the in the polls and he was going ahead of Hillary, I decided to invest to, to check out who this new candidate was. I mean, that's normal. I checked out the other candidates too, and I checked out Hillary Clinton. I mean, same. The, the only added bonus with Obama, Obama was that he was black, so that was an added interest. So I said, oh, that's interesting. This is the first black candidate. Better check this guy out. This is interesting. Because he was like uh, an item. He was like a particular item, item of curiosity. And uh, then I saw he was Muslim. They, there were people on the Internet saying, hey, this guy is a Muslim, actually, and that's, that's not good. And I, I agree with that. That's not good. I don't want any Muslim in the White House. So I was alerted. Uh, I was I was alerted against this guy. I was dead against this guy at that time. But it was nothing like now. Now I mean, he's the Antichrist. That's another ball game. Big big. That's big 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 game. So uh, right after his election, there was a Newsweek article that came out like a week afterwards, uh, maybe a week afterwards. The, there was a Newsweek article that was out, and I saw it on the internet. It said, "Is Obama the Antichrist?" because the Chicago lottery in Obama's hometown drew 666 the day after his election. And that's, log that's logical, that's the number of the Antichrist, that's, the number, that's called the number of the beast. The mark of the beast and the number of the beast, so and this is the number of the Antichrist, you can call it however you want, but the beast and the Antichrist is the same person. And I was just flabbergasted, I was flabbergasted. I had just been following these uh, elections just as a sideshow because I'm a Buddhist and so I don't involve in any politics. But I had studied the Buddhist apocalypse and I saw many signs which said that the apocalypse was now. So I was actually on the lookout for this Antichrist. And um, I was using the Buddhist references and I didn't, it's not written in the Buddhist apocalypse that we should search for 666 or any of these Christian names. So I just, I just, uh, well, I just hit the ground running. I said, okay, well, I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to have to go along with the Christian 666 and the Apocalypse and the Antichrist because he's here. The, the guy, when he, when the Antichrist appears, he, you can't say, you know, hey, uh, I'm a Buddhist, you know, so I'm not concerned by the Antichrist. I mean, when you have to, fight against Satan, you know, you just give up your labels. If you're a Buddhist or whatever, you just fight against Satan. This guy is announced as Satan by this 666 drawing the lottery in Chicago. And so you, you, you just have to give up all your prejudices and all your preconceived ideas. And you say, hey, oh, this guy is announced because of this 666 number. So I got to hit the ground running and fight this guy. I can't just uh, stand by and, and let things go. Uh, happen. I can't just stand by passively. I got to go after this guy. So that's what I did. So I, I decided to, to go and close this guy down. And that's what I did. So so at that point, I decided to, so at that point, I decided to, uh, to, to go after this guy. And then afterwards, uh, people were saying to me, hey, you're a Buddhist, so you have nothing to do with this. And Christians were rejecting me because of that. And so I was saying, uh, listen, I, I, I fit the description of the reluctant messenger because I don't want to involve with you Christians. I'm a Buddhist. And so I'm bringing to you the word of the apocalypse, and you're not accepting it. So I, I, I'm doing this like reluctantly, and you guys don't want it. <laughs> so I was, I, I was, it was like I was forcing the apocalypse on these guys, and they didn't want it. <laughs> it was a ridiculous situation. But they were saying, you're a Buddhist, so explain to us what you're doing here, and what, how do you fit into the picture? And so I researched my Buddhist uh, apocalypse prophecy, and it said in day, indeed that the Antichrist person, the demon king, we call him demon king, Demon King Krimati, he will be a Christian. So the Christian omens and the 666 and the Antichrist label also apply to him because in our Buddhist apocalypse it says he will be a Christian. So it's legitimate that we know him as the Antichrist and as 666 because 
it says that his religion will be Christianity. It'll be Christianity and Islam. So the terms and the words of Antichrist and 666, which are typically Christian, we don't have them in our Buddhism, it's normal that we, as Buddhists, that we use them and we rely and we base ourselves upon them. So that's what I did. Now, I've been writing it uh, as a reporter on, uh, for six years, I've been spreading the news that Obama is the Antichrist everywhere. And slowly, people at the newspaper, the website where I write, they have joined me. Now there are other reporters who are joining me in spreading this message that 666 is uh, the sign that Obama is the Antichrist. So we're very united. I have a united group around me spreading this, and uh, I'm making this army of Shambhala. All you people who see this video, come and join us. You go to the, you go to the, the links in uh, the article, or you can answer this article. You, you put comments in the article, and I'll find those comments. And you just say, I want to join the army of a Shambhala. I want to join you. You want to join me, Gare Smith. My name is Gare Smith. Uh, in the army of Shambhala, I'm the king of Shambhala. His name is Rudra Chakran. And uh, so, you know, in the comments, you just, you just have to say, basically, I want to join the army of Shambhala, and you're on. I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get you. I'm going to connect with you. I'm going to give you my email. Uh, I mean, already to be on this video, you're already connected to me. You just have to answer the comments. So, um... So we've been preparing for this moment. Now is the moment. Now Obama has ascended the throne of Israel. So now we're revealing the, uh, the apocalypse. And uh, now what we're going to do is to spread this message all over the world, even to in every language, uh, French, English, German, uh, Japanese, Chinese. We're going to spread this on all over the world, on all the search engines, everywhere that Obama is the Antichrist. We're going to reveal this. And uh, if you want to go to heaven, and that's your wish, then you must join us and uh, spread this news that Obama is the Antichrist. There's no other way uh, you'll go to heaven, because confronted with Satan, confronted with the Antichrist, confronted with evil, the only way is to reveal it. If you reveal evil and you reveal the Antichrist, then you'll be saved. If you don't reveal evil, then there's no way you can, if somebody is the same in spiritual practice, if you do not reject evil, you cannot go to heaven because your mind will, will, be, your mind will be polluted by uh, evil. And uh, your mind, you must purify your mind of, of evil in order to go to, to heaven. Okay, people. Here you can see. You can see this uh, newspaper. This was the newspaper of uh, oh, oh, the day the day that Obama was uh, elected. The day Obama was elected, uh, I, I bought a newspaper from Chicago of the day when he was elected. You can see it here. Can we see that? It's somewhere here. Here it is. I'm going to try to zoom in on that. See if people can see that. Um, the day when Obama was elected, uh, he... Uh, yeah, I lost that. <laughs> I lost that. That's too bad. That was a, that, that was a good... Uh, yeah, it's here. This is where it is. The newspaper said, oh, Obama has won the elections. But at the same time, on the back, on the back cover of that, see that here. This is the newspaper here. But, uh, Here is written on the top of the world, on the top of the world. But on the back side of that, there's the lottery draw of 666. So it was, uh, Obama was cursed from the beginning. So that's what I'm going to spread. And so I hope you people will join me and we can spread this news all together. And that I'll be, uh, I'll be meeting you at 
in the army of Shambhala very quickly. Okay, so um, 